Hi friends, it's Lena. It's been a minute since I've done anything and why not an unboxing video? I know usually when I do unboxing videos, it's like I have a big old box of nonsense. Today's unboxing is a little bit smaller, simpler. I don't... Um, so I got almost all the clothes I get a second hand. Um, somebody in my local Lolita J Fashion Com was selling an Empress L dress. And I've been admiring this brand for a really long time because they have a really high level of detail on their dresses. And a lot of their pieces that I've seen that other Com members own are absolutely stunning. So when the opportunity to get this dress came up, I just jumped on it because, you know, we're sad. We're trapped in our houses, so add to cart, right? Um, it just arrived. I haven't had a chance to open it yet, and I'm kind of shocked. It's in an absolutely massive box. Um, so I'm going to cut that open, and we'll see what we got. Okay, the dress has been revealed. I do see why the box is big. This is a large dress and it looks like it's in a garment bag. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. Box can get kneaded out now. Okay, it is in a garment bag. I don't know if this is like the bag it came with or if the person I bought it from decided to, I'm going to put this down. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the person who I bought this from decided to put it in the bag or if it came with the bag. The dress is like slowly expanding because it was all like crunched up towards the top of the bag, maybe during shipping, maybe she packed it that way. So I luckily had my garment rack set up right here next to it. Oh, oh guys. I'm sorry you can't see this because it's off screen. Okay, so we'll start with, it came with a matching hat, which she just protected it by putting in some bags. Okay. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm just going to say okay like 50 more times. So it's got, to protect it from getting crushed, it's got some... Tissue paper, I'll take that out before I wear it. I'm guessing, let me see. I don't, this part is removable. So, and then the top of the hat has these lovely details here. I feel like this, this strap is tight around your head when you put it on and this can go underneath the bow here, but it's currently over it. And these straps are beautiful. Sorry, my window's open because we don't have AC till May because older buildings, they have to switch it over. And so now we're hearing the beeping. Okay, it stopped. So it's like an organza ribbon overlaid onto an embroidered mesh lace. And it's just stitched down on top of the black bits. It's beautiful. I love the detail. The ribbon here has the same lace but with a different, it's an, a lace overlay on top of an organza ribbon. And again, more lace detail around the top of the hat. This whole thing feels like it's overlaid with a mesh fabric. This is beautiful. And it looks like this bit of roses is removable. Oh, the bow is also removable. All of these things have pin backs on them. I'm trying to see. Yeah, just a pin back. Everything's on a pin back. So I could take that off and rearrange it. The hat does have a back because there's a seam. And there are three different um, hair combs. I'm like, what is the word for these? A hair comb to hold it in place. The flowers are all really nice, um, like silk flowers. They're of good quality. The little accent ones here are plastic. I can see one of them is missing, but that's no big deal. I actually have some of these so I can replace that one if I wanted to. Um, but that's the hat. This is just the hat, guys. Okay, let's get rid of these plastic bags because they're noisy. I'm going to put the hat down right here. Okay, I'm gonna pull the dress out of the bag. This is so stunning. So, 
I'm really excited to try this on and see how the fit is because there is no shirring in the back, but it should fit up to 105 centimeter bust. It looks like it's gonna be, it's gonna fit me. It might be a little bit snug. It has this hanger that's just coated in like plastic, but so, okay, I'm gonna lift it up. It's got an overskirt, which I don't know that I was aware of all of these little things that I was getting um, when I got this. It also has, so, okay, there's waist ties, there's a belt, there's a removable bow on this belt, but the belt itself is not removable. There are, the waist ties are just thin ribbons, um, but it's got this big bow and this is a pin, so I can just take this off. And then the front also has a bow at the waist, it's a pin. So this is what the bodice, bodice looks like. It's got little flowers here that are, they're snaps. So you can take these off when you wash it. Yeah, all of these, the flowers are snaps, the leaves are not. So you can pop those off when it needs to be washed. I would hand wash this garment. It's got this over skirt, which is double layered, double layered. And then this, the actual, oh my gosh, I can't even pick this up. To show you guys, the actual skirt itself is just these ruffled layers, tears. It looks like a curtain. It made me think of a cake. Made me think of a cake. Layers of cake with icing. It is absolutely stunning. I don't even know. There's more of these bow detail accents all over it. The bows that are on the skirt have little pearl drops on all of them. So I don't know how much this was originally. I'll try and look up, I'll put a stock photo right here so you guys can see it a little bit better. I got this dress for $140, I think plus $15 for shipping. And it's got a side zipper. The, the waist ties are a little disappointing. It's just a little organza ribbon. The button for the waist ties is so much nicer than the actual waist ties themselves. I don't tend to use waist ties very often and with this big back bow I don't even really see the need unless I have to cinch it in the waist. I might try and make more ornate waist ties for this. I can't even guys. I'll do, I'll put in some hand shots so you guys can see what this looks like and I'll put those in here and then I'm gonna go try this on. Be right back. Brief intermission with some close-ups. the JSK and hat very simply with this lovely Axis Femme chiffon blouse I have that's got short sleeves and a Pouvetel necklace. This is one of her LGBT themed necklaces, it's the lesbian colorway in rose gold. I felt like the colors really matched well with all of the colors that are in the dress and the Axis Femme blouse matched the ribbon detail that is both in the hat and on the JSK. To finish off the look, I put a simple pair of Tea Party shoes. This dress is so voluminous that there'd be no way for me to actually get into it in my tiny little studio space, but I still wanted to show you guys just how lovely it is worn. I also don't know if I mentioned, but the back has this lovely removable bow. This is what the back of the skirt looks like. The overskirt, it's very interesting. I'm kind of excited because it's held on by little elastic that has buttons that meet here underneath 
this bow, which this bow is also removable. I feel like I talked about this already, but these guys are removable via snaps. I just wanted to get a close up. These leaves do stay on, but that's a nice little detail for when you do wash it, which I have been thinking a bit about washing this because the skirt has all of these lovely little pearl dangle details on it. And this would have to be like a hand wash only garment, not only because of all the lace trim and details that are there, but also because of all these little delicate pieces. The dress is made up of, this is a polyester, like taffeta lined with a like lace mesh on top. And then the whole skirt has a cotton lining it is completely cotton lined with this beautiful lace on the hem. It is stunning. I have actually been staring at it. There's been some passage of time since I filled the initial filmed the initial opening. And I just wanted to give you guys a more thorough and complete impression of this piece. I love its pieces. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm sorry, I could not actually try it on myself, but my dress form is roughly the same size as me, so you guys can see and have an idea of how that fits. So, I originally planned to change from one sack garment into this beautiful garment, and instead I have ended up in another sack garment, but that's just the way things work out sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this simple put together look and this like first impressions kind of review for new to me garments. I don't buy a lot of new from brand items. I buy a lot of secondhand, but if you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll start doing more like individual item reviews. Like I said earlier, I have been a huge fan of Empress L's designs for a while now and I'm so, glad to have a piece of their work in my closet now. It is absolutely stunning. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!